Dry tip is one of my favorite cuts of beef to work with. I usually buy it untrimmed, but you can buy it trimmed. If you buy it untrimmed, what you're going to want to do is simply take your knife and remove as much of the fat off the top as possible. And using mostly the tip of it, work off the fat cap. Now if you buy it trimmed, it's going to look more like this, and you still may need to work a little bit off of it. Now I'm going to cut it into steaks. And I prefer to cut mine a little bit on the thick side and then push it down, kind of flatten it out a little bit. And I think you get a more tender steak this way. I tend to cut mine in a fairly uniform thickness. So that by the time I'm cooking them, they're all going to be about three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. Tri-tip is convenient when you need to feed a lot of people too. It's something you can do a couple of days ahead of time and then store them until you need them. For the most part, I season them with Rick's Chef Salt and then just put a little touch of olive oil on it. Tri-tip lends itself great to barbecue, broiled, but today we're just going to saute it in a touch of olive oil and some butter. Because I'm using mine with a salad today, I'm going to put just a touch of thyme on it. Get my pan nice and hot and start putting the steaks in. I'm going to let those saute on a fairly high heat for a while. And can I just say right here, there are few better smells than this. Now after they've been going for just a short period of time, move them around and make sure nothing's sticking. And I like to turn mine sideways, just like I do on the grill. After the color starts crawling up the side just a little bit, I'm going to turn them over. See how nice and dark they are? That's from high heat cooking. Now here again, just a couple of minutes on the other side, keep them moving every once in a while, and then when they're nice and rare, I like to pull them out and let them sit for a minute. And remember one of the great things about sautéing them is this: just take a little of Rick Chef salt, some red wine, and stir in a little butter, and you're going to have yourself a great red wine sauce. Watch for in the future we'll be doing many other dishes with tri-tip, tacos, salads, and many more.